Okay, Saberland. Uh, and Star Wars fans everywhere. This is your host, Jedi Guy, with a new type of video for you. I was hoping to get this done sooner, but things kept piling up and frustrations upon frustrations. It is currently Tuesday, March 14th, 10 days until my birthday. Cannot wait for that anniversary. But yeah, um, I just finished uh, upgrading the, the Prophecy version 3 hilt that I have. Um, first of all, uh, one thing out of the way, uh, for those of you who are interested in buying the Prophecy from Ultra Sabers, um, it's a great hilt. Uh, thus far, the only two issues I've ever run into uh, that are just kind of design flaws in my own mind. Um, you'll notice that I took off the retention nut things. Uh, they're all, if you unscrew them, they're only aesthetic. Uh, the, the retention screws are actually hidden inside the little knobs. If you take off the knobs, then you'll realize that they're only there to look pretty, and it actually gets in the way of some of the twirls that I perform, though it does act as a nice little reminder, hey, I'm getting too close to the blade. Uh, but it'll fit perfectly fine with the normal pair of retention screws that you can get from any of the other Ultra Saber hilts, or... If you're like me and you live in Waterloo, you can actually get a pair of these for 69 cents at Canadian Tire. Uh, they're 8 by 32 inch. So, um, another uh, design flaw is the pommel. This pommel is actually from a different hilt, one that was stolen from me a couple months back. This uh, pommel belongs to the V4 line of hilts, so the Apprentice, the the Initiate version 4 hilts. Uh, and I just find it to be so much better than the other one because um, if you're like me and you tend to drop things, especially if you're new to saber twirling, you're going to drop your saber and then the outer line. It's a nice low profile hilt, sorry, a nice low profile pommel for the prophecy, uh, but the downside to the low profile pommel is that once you drop it, uh, the outside of the hilt, because it's made of aluminum, it's a soft metal, it'll dent inwards and prevent you from screwing on the pommel. And even if you do succeed, you can't get it off. Or even worse, uh, if you screw in the pommel tight and then drop it, it prevents you from taking the pommel off. I actually had that problem twice. The first time I was able to just muscle through it, but the second time I had to take it into Brandon Dale to get him to completely cut off part of the end uh, and give me a new pommel altogether. I took that pommel and kind of tossed it in the corner. I don't know where it is now. And I replaced it with the um, version 4 hilt uh, vented because this lightsaber has sound. Um, if you guys have seen me twirling uh, last year between October 2014 and October 20... or October 20... 15 and October 2016. Uh, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the blue lightsaber, a uh, big Anakin Skywalker fan. Uh, not too much of a fan of Luke, but um, I don't know. Something about being uh, the prophesied chosen one that just gives me a thrill. Um, on top of that, Luke was more of a pacifist and Anakin was a warrior, and I don't find myself being a pacifist by nature. So... Uh, so right here, uh, I got Brandon Dale to drill uh, a hole in my hilt uh, so that the anti-vandal switch could work. Now, if you look carefully, there's that little black rim around it. That is uh, a lens for an LED on the inside of this button to light up when I turn it on. I didn't wire that up because the anti-vandal, the illuminated anti-vandal switches drain the battery like crazy. So uh, I just didn't do that. I didn't wire it up. All I really needed was a momentary switch that was anti-vandal sized. Uh, I happened to take this from, you guessed it, the initiate hilt, same place I got this. Because uh, the other momentary switch that I had from the custom saber shop, it was a guarded momentary switch, it ended up glitching midway through and uh, I realized that I needed to get a new one. This one seemed to be better and from the reviews I have read, based off of anti-vandal switches and guarded switches, um, reviews. Just the uh, the anti-vandal switch seems to be so much better. 
So, now that I got that out of my system, um, we're gonna get right down to it. Uh, I spent a lot of time uh, making sure I got this perfect. I went out and I spent like $40 worth uh, on wire to get it the exact correct size uh, from a place called Sail, S-A-Y-A-L. Um, $7.50 per coil of 50 yards worth of wire. Like, that's incredible. So I got four of those, plus a couple other extras to assist me with the soldering. Um, got all the basic tools that I needed, and I got the the hilt finally back in my possession. I wired it up, but I didn't make a video because the settings weren't correct. I went out and got myself, where'd it go? Over here. Uh, for those of you who are unaware, the, the Nano Biscotti soundboard that I have on the inside of here, I just prefer that to the Obsidian soundboard. Um, but the Nano Biscotti soundboard, on the inside here, uh, it doesn't plug into the computer like the uh, Obsidian soundboard does uh, with a cable. It plugs in with a micro SD card. You know, those things you plug into your cell phone and like anything else that has a port. Um, turns out my laptop didn't have a micro SD card adapter or uh, port and it didn't have an SD card port, but I have a micro SD to SD card adapter that I just found in my drawer. So I went out and I spent five bucks on this multi-card reader. I could have spent thirty dollars on one from uh, the source or I could have gone on Kijiji and spent five bucks on one. I wonder what decision I made. Uh, and I spent the last hour, maybe hour and a half, tinkering with uh, the sound fonts. Uh, the making sure I want, I got the right sounds in the right places uh, with the boot sound, the power on, power off, swing, and clash. Um, and I, I, I think I really got everything figured out. Uh, because this hilt, the Prophecy version 3, is modeled after Anakin Skywalker's, <clears throat> I figured that I'd get a sound font that reflects his Attack of the Clones sound font. And the more that I watched the Attack of the Clones, um, lightsaber battles, whenever he ignites the saber, the more I started to realize that the sound effects for the Attack of the Clones saber and the Graflex lightsaber from Revenge of the Sith are basically the same thing. Which confused the hell out of me, but I just rolled with it. So I bought a sound font off of saberfont.com called Graflex 3, or Revenge of the Sith. R-T-O-S. Um, and we're going to see what that looks like here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's in sleep mode or whatever, but we're going to find out. This is where the fun begins. There's the boot sound for Graflex Revenge of the Sith, and here's what it looks like with the light on. Now, I don't know how the sound is going to uh, come up on camera because uh, the speaker is actually facing this way, and it's further down in the hilt. If you look on the inside, there's a chassis uh, printed uh, using 3D printed plastic from Brandon Dale uh, with a recharge port in the bottom, so all I gotta do is plug it into the wall without it ever having to take out the chassis. Which is nice, but the sound is a little duller than I'm used to. So, we got the typical uh, uh, swing sounds. Then we got the flash on the flash. I spent about 10 bucks on this, sound font alone. Um, and it was nice for the Attack of Clones, Revenge of the Sith, kind of Anakin Skywalker sound font, but I wanted something that reflected me a little bit more. And I'm not, you know, bright, happy-go-lucky. Uh, I wanted a sound font that reflected my personality when I'm about to enter a fight. So I found one online that is close. 
I found one that's perfect, but I'm not going to get it just yet. You guys will see why in the next couple of months, years, whatever, depending on how long you watch this channel, depending on when I decide to upgrade this thing. So we're going to switch sound fonts. Uh, the Nano Biscotti only has two available banks. I'm not sure if I can upgrade that later or not, but whatever. So I got the Corellian sound font by uh, uh, Rob Petcow or uh, Mad Cow, as you guys know him. Uh, and it's got a, a much deeper, powerful, more menacing sounding sound font without sounding like a Sith lightsaber. Um, I haven't read the books, but I read up on Corrin Horn, uh, a Corellian Jedi in Luke's new Jedi Order. And I was a big fan of uh, what I read up there. And the fact that he was either uh, a silver lightsaber user or a blue lightsaber user just made it that much better for me. Yeah. So, we got the, the typical swing sounds in case you didn't hear from that. Yeah. So I, I made this with a tri Cree LED from the custom saber shop. Uh, uh, two of the LEDs are royal blue and that's what you're getting here. And one of them is white for the flash on clash. I will be upgrading this to something different midway through the summer, but for now, uh, I'm, I'm happy with this, the way it turned out. You guys, like, don't even know. Uh, this is so much fun. I might actually just make a video of me spinning it around. Go, go, I will sit you. You think you're just gonna escape the camera light? Come here. Say hello to the fans. I love you too. Down you get. No. Don't go up there. So anyway, uh, that's the lightsaber I currently have. I'm going to buy another sound font uh, at the end of the month called Calibrate. It's it's not a dueling sound font. It's uh, it's for when I'm tinkering with the lightsaber and I want to turn it on and test a few things. It'll it'll make it sound like a blade hasn't ignited and it's just testing the internal components. It's, it's really nice. And I think I'll use that to replace the Graflex sound font. Oh man, I'm having so much fun with this, you guys don't even know. So anyway, uh, that's my upgraded Prophecy, version 3, with the Nano Biscotti, uh, tri free LED, uh, lithium ion battery cell, 18650, uh, 3.7 volt lithium ion battery cell with a recharge port, and a charger that I'm not quite sure if it's still working or not. Anyway, the next video I upload is going to be probably in a few hours. Because I want to test this thing out. I just, I don't want to hit anything with it. I just, this is fun to do. So, yeah. Um, hope you guys liked the video. If you did, leave it a like and a comment down below. Share, subscribe, uh, you know the drill. And as always, may the force be with you. Have a great day.